Okay, in this video, we're going to be creating a new effect called waveform. To begin this, we're going to go into the Solution Explorer and create a new scene called waveform, which will be a header file. So we'll make sure this is in source scenes and we'll call it waveform.h. Yep, and now we're going to include of main h and ofx scene manager. Yep, and now we've included those, we want to create our class, and this is just going to be class waveform, and it's going to inherit from public OFX scene. Yep, and now we're just going to create our constructors and deconstructors, which is waveform. Oops. Waveform again, and then this will be the one we're using, which is waveform. And this one will be passing through string text, vector, float, and this will be a left channel. These here that we're passing through are from the uh, of main.h class, these two here. So we'll be passing these through later. So we want to. Yep, and then we want to go public. Vector float. Text. We're just setting the values now. Oh, forgot text. Yep, and now that we've done this, we want to create our draw override class. And in this class, we are going to start out with OF no fill, which just gen makes the shapes we're drawing have no fill. Then we want to set our color to green, which is OF set color, OF color green. And then after this, we want to set our line width, which is OF set. and then we want to get our float vector float in the sand um, left ref equals and then we want to begin drawing our shape and then for int um, i equals zero i is some left size oops it's meant to be left channel plus plus yep so we're just iterating for our left channel and then we want to get our value, which is float value equals left ref i. And then we want to draw our vertex, which would be of vertex i star to um, of get height. So that's just drawing the x, and then our height will be half of the screen to place it perfectly in the center. So then, oh, 
and then we need to go minus the value and that is a spelling mistake there yep so then we get to go oh that's our value times by 360.0f and that will create the effect there and then we need an of and shape pulse now let's do the same for our right so we can just copy this to save a bit of time and then here we just need to add so we just need to go add oh f let's put this in brackets just to make sure then of get whip divided by two yep. and then after we've created both shapes we need to do an off draw bitmap string and this will just draw the string uh, and that will be text and uh, 50, 50. Let's just put in the same location as before, last video. So now that we have created our class, let's see what's doing. It's wrong. Um, oh, void. Missed that. Mistake. And then now that we have everything here, we can go to our of app.h and include it. So you just include scenes slash waveform dot h and now let's go to off app cpp and let's add it here. So shared pointer uh, waveform then waveform effect make underscore shared we want to call this one waveform and then let's send in left channel and right channel then add the scene and we're gonna call this one this one's waveform effect and now let's scroll down here and we need to be able to change the scene. So we go if key is equal to one, sorry, equal to two, then oops, scenes dot change scene one. So now we should be able to run the application and we can see the reactive circle is working fine and then if we switch to the waveform we can only see one side that's working but that's just because i'm using a mono microphone if your microphone stereo you see both sides working and that's all for this video